When it comes to technology in the classroom, the Texana Center is on the cutting edge. Kate Johnson Padagoc explains. So at Texana's Children's Center for Autism, we work with children in order to prepare them to move on to a school setting. We're an applied behavior analysis treatment setting, and we're trying to prepare kids for school, the family, and their community settings. And so when we are working in a lot of the school settings and talking to parents, a lot of the school settings have, in fact, all of the school settings had smart boards or some type of interactive whiteboard. And so one of the things we want to do is make sure the children are the most prepared for going to their next setting. And so um, one of the ways to do that using applied behavior analysis is to program for generalization by having those items that they would have in their school setting in their current setting. The technology is forever changing because the teachers and the behavior analysts can program the um, interactive screens themselves. So if they want to teach matching, if they want to teach learning, if they want to teach reading, they can use the latest technology, um, applied behavior analysis intervention to teach those things and program them into the smart board and then it goes up on a shared site where other people all over, it's all free once you have one to share all of that information. So other behavior analysts, other teachers can use the lessons that we created here at Texana Center and in exchange we can use the lessons that they created anywhere all over the world. Kids with an autism diagnosis have deficits in social skills and language. They also have maybe some repetitive either behaviors or interests. And so we look at and assess all of their skill deficits as well as their strengths. And we break down any areas of deficit into small little skills and teach those one at a time. If they're working on naming certain items or certain word approximations or um, different math skills, all of those skills can be entered into the Catalyst program really easily. And our technician staff really do love the iPads because they're easy to hang on to, easy to hold, and then they just tap on the different skills that the kids are using. They're able to show um, the progress on each of those things, so it graphs it automatically, and that way our behavior analysts don't have to take the paper data and later enter it into an Excel spreadsheet, and the parents can watch the progress live from home. Or we can use the iPads, for example, for their educational interactive games. Um, we can also use them for a reward or reinforcer. One of the most difficult things with children with autism is to find out what motivates them. And every child is different and is motivated differently, but we find a lot of kids are motivated by the ability to, once they're done with their instructional task, to get the opportunity to play some kind of fun game on the iPad. The smart tables are our newest addition and the thing that's great about them for socialization is both an iPad and the smart boards, only one person can touch and interact with it at a time. So you can learn turn taking, which is important, but with the smart tables, everything, um, many, many children can touch the screen at the time, so everything is interactive. So several kids can work cooperatively towards meeting one goal, they can all touch the screen at the same time. And that way, um, everything is really is like a game, and they're learning um, shapes, colors, reading, um, even science. All of those things using interactive games, which also helps them with their social skills. They're learning and not even realizing they're learning because they're having so much fun. For more information, visit www.texanacenter.com. For Stafford Weekly News, I'm Phil Logan.